Tasmanian Devil The Tasmanian Devil Sarcophilus harisii, is a carnivorous marsupial of the family Dasuridae. It was once native to mainland Australia and was only found in the wild on the island state of Tasmania. It has now been reintroduced to New South Wales with a small breeding population. The size of a small dog, the Tasmanian Devil became the largest carnivorous marsupial in the world following the extinction of the thylacine in 1936. It is related to quolls and distantly related to the thylacine. It is characterized by its stocky and muscular build, black fur, pungent odor, extremely loud and disturbing screech, keen sense of smell, and ferocity when feeding. The Tasmanian Devil's large head and neck allow it to generate among the strongest bites per unit body mass of any extant predatory land mammal. It hunts prey and scavenges carrion as well as eating household products if humans are living nearby. Although devils are usually solitary, they sometimes eat together and defecate in a communal location. Unlike most other dasurids, the devil thermoregulates effectively and is active during the middle of the day without overheating. Despite its rotund appearance, it is capable of surprising speed and endurance, and can climb trees and swim across rivers. Devils are not monogamous. Males fight one another for females, and guard their partners to prevent female infidelity. Females can ovulate three times in as many weeks during the mating season, and 80% of two-year-old females are seen to be pregnant during the annual mating season. Females average four breeding seasons in their life and give birth to 20 to 30 live young after three weeks gestation. The newborn are pink, lack fur, have indistinct facial features and weigh around 0.20 grams at birth. As there are only four nipples in the pouch, competition is fierce and few newborns survive. The young grow rapidly and are ejected from the pouch after around 100 days, weighing roughly 200 grams. The young become independent after around nine months. It is believed that ancient marsupials migrated across Gondwana tens of millions of years ago, and that they evolved as Australia became more arid. Fossils of species similar to modern devils have been found, but it is not known whether devils are descended from these species or coexisted with them. It is unclear when Tasmanian devils became locally extinct from the Australian mainland. Most evidence suggests they had contracted to three relic populations around 3,000 years ago. A tooth found in Augusta, Western Australia, has been dated to 430 years ago, but archaeologist Oliver Brown disputes this and considers the Devil's mainland extinction to have occurred around 3,000 years ago. This disappearance is usually blamed on dingoes, which are absent from Tasmania. Devils were hunted and became endangered in Tasmania because they were seen as a threat to livestock and fur-bearing wild animals. In 1941, devils became officially protected, and since then, scientists have contended that earlier concerns over the threat to livestock were overestimated and misplaced. Since the late 1990s, the devil facial tumor disease DFTD, has drastically reduced the population and now threatens the survival of the species, which in 2008 was declared to be endangered. Programs undertaken by the Government of Tasmania to reduce the impact of the disease include an initiative to build up a group of healthy devils in captivity, isolated from the disease. Localised populations of devils have also been severely reduced by collisions with motor vehicles, particularly when they are eating roadkill. The devil is an iconic symbol of Tasmania and many organisations, groups and products associated with the state use the animal in their logos. It is seen as an important attractor of tourists to Tasmania and has come to worldwide attention through the Looney Tunes character of the same name. Starting in 2013, Tasmanian devils are again being sent to zoos around the world as part of the Australian government's Save the Tasmanian Devil program. Description The Tasmanian devil is the largest surviving carnivorous marsupial. It has a squat, thick build, with a large head and a tail which is about half its body length. Unusually for a marsupial, its forelegs are slightly longer than its hind legs, and devils can run up to 13 km per hour for short distances. The fur is usually black, often with irregular white patches on the chest and rump, although approximately 16% of wild devils do not have white patches. These markings suggest that the devil is most active at dawn and dusk, and they are thought to draw biting attacks toward less important areas of the body, as fighting between devils often leads to a concentration of scars in that region. Males are usually larger than females, having an average head and body length of 652 mm, a 258 mm tail and an average weight of 8 kg. 
Females have an average head and body length of 570 mm, a 244 mm tail and an average weight of 6 kg, although devils in western Tasmania tend to be smaller. Devils have five long toes on their forefeet, four pointing to the front and one coming out from the side, which gives the devil the ability to hold food. The hind feet have four toes, and the devils have non-retractable claws. The stocky devils have a relatively low center of mass. Devils are fully grown at two years of age, and few devils live longer than five years in the wild. Possibly the longest lived Tasmanian devil recorded was Kula, a male devil which lived in captivity for more than seven years. Born in January 1997 at the Cincinnati Zoo, Kula died in May 2004 at the Fort Wayne Children's Zoo. The devil stores body fat in its tail, and healthy devils have fat tails. The tail is largely non-prehensile and is important to its physiology, social behavior and locomotion. It acts as a counterbalance to aid stability when the devil is moving quickly. An anogenital scent gland at the base of its tail is used to mark the ground behind the animal with its strong, pungent scent. He Tasmanian devil has the most powerful bite relative to body size of any living mammalian carnivore, exerting a force of 553 n. The jaw can open to 75 to 80 degrees, allowing the devil to generate the large amount of power to tear meat and crush bones, sufficient force to allow it to bite through thick metal wire. The power of the jaws is in part due to its comparatively large head. The teeth and jaws of Tasmanian devils resemble those of hyenas, an example of convergent evolution. Dasurid teeth resemble those of primitive marsupials. Like all dasurids, the devil has prominent canines and cheek teeth. It has three pairs of lower incisors and four pairs of upper incisors. These are located at the top of the front of the devil's mouth. Like dogs, it has 42 teeth, however, unlike dogs, its teeth are not replaced after birth but grow continuously throughout life at a slow rate. It has a highly carnivorous dentition and trophic adaptations for bone consumption. The devil has long claws that allow it to dig burrows and seek subterranean food easily and grip prey or mates strongly. The teeth and claw strength allow the devil to attack wombats up to 30 kilograms in weight. The large neck and forebody that give the devil its strength also cause this strength to be biased towards the front half of the body. The lopsided, awkward, shuffling gait of the devil is attributed to this. The devil has long whiskers on its face and in clumps on the top of the head. These help the devil locate prey when foraging in the dark, and aid in detecting when other devils are close during feeding. The whiskers can extend from the tip of the chin to the rear of the jaw and can cover the span of its shoulder. Hearing is its dominant sense, and it also has an excellent sense of smell, which has a range of one kilometer. The devil, unlike other marsupials, has a well-defined, saddle-shaped ectotempanic. Since devils hunt at night, their vision seems to be strongest in black and white. In these conditions they can detect moving objects readily, but have difficulty seeing stationary objects. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy the video please like and subscribe.